Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfectionist, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our anatomy playlist. In previous videos, we talked about skin, fascia, tendons, bursae, and today we will dig deeper into a special type of bursae, which is synovial sheaths of tendons. Just like the pleura around your lung is made of visceral pleura and parietal pleura, same thing happens here. We have a parietal layer and a visceral layer of the synovial sheath around the tendon. This is my anatomy playlist. What's the building unit of your body? The cell. A group of cells will make tissue. How many types of tissue do we have? We have four types, epithelium, connective, muscle, and nerve. How does the muscle insert into bone? The answer is via a tendon. Fun facts about skeletal muscles. How many skeletal muscles are there in the human body? 620. What's the strongest of them? The masseter. What's the longest? Sartorius. What's the biggest? Gluteus maximus. Which skeletal muscle is essential for survival? Your diaphragm. And your muscles make about 40% of your total body weight. How about another one? What's the strongest smooth muscle in your body? The answer, the uterus. Your muscles are surrounded by connective tissue in the form of endomesium, perimesium, and epimesium. And the tendon of the muscle is surrounded by peritendinium. As you know, we have skeletal muscles, cardiac muscle, and smooth muscles in the body. What are tendons? Tough cord-like tissues made of collagenous bundles attached to the skeletal muscle on one side and usually bones on the other side. It does not have to be bone. Could be fascia, dermis, etc. What's the name of the connective tissue that invests the tendon? Peritendinium, which is a sheath. This sheath can be filled with synovial fluid. That's why we call it the synovial sheath of the tendon, which is today's topic. The peritendinium of the tendon is continuous with the periosteum of the bone. Bursae was the last video's topic. What's bursa? Bursa is a protrusion of synovial membrane, like this. Look at the synovial membrane protruding and leaving and escaping the confinement of the joint capsule and going to the outside. When the synovial fluid is outside, what do we call that? A bursa. So it's the synovial fluid and the lovely synovial membrane that surrounds it. Do you remember from the previous video when we said that the synovial fluid is not just inside the synovial joint space, it's also in the bursa and in tendon sheaths? Why do I care? Because some diseases, like rheumatoid arthritis, can lead to synovitis, which is inflammation of the synovial membrane. And that's why these patients can have problems in their joints, problems in their bursae, and problems in their tendon sheaths, which makes muscle movements hard. We talked about bursae in the last video, so please pause and review. Here is a muscle and here is a tendon. The tendon is inserting into bone. This tendon is surrounded by synovial sheath. And the synovial sheath contains synovial fluid. Synovial sheath, the definition, a tubular bursa. Oh, really? The synovial sheath is a bursa? Yeah. It's also filled with synovial fluid that envelops and invests and surrounds the tendon, just like how the pleura surrounds and invests the lung. Where should I find synovial sheath? Anywhere the tendon is subjected to pressure or friction between two or more surfaces, such as when the tendon is passing under retinaculae. Do you remember the flexor retinacula? and the extensor retinacula of your wrist and hand. Also, when tendons are passing through osteofibrous canals or through bony groves, they need a synovial sheath for protection. Synovial sheaths increase protection, decrease friction, which facilitates your movement. Look at this lung. Around the lung, there is pleura. The pleura has visceral layer and parietal layer because during embryology, the lung literally pushed through and invaginated the pleura. So now the pleura has to surround the lung, visceral pleura, and the same pleura has to attach to the rib cage, parietal pleura, by the same token. Look at the synovial sheath around your tendon. Here's the tendon in between. What's the name of the layer that is touching the tendon, visceral layer? How about the layer that's away from the tendon, parietal layer? What's between them, pleural fluid? No, something similar synovial fluid. And just like with the abdominal peritoneum, there is mesosalpinx, there is mesoappendix, there is meso anything. We have also a mesotendon. It's a fold in this synovial sheath 
Why do you need a fold? To create an opening. Why do you need an opening? So that we can get blood supply to the tendon. And where is that blood vessel coming from? From the nearby bone. Because remember, bone is vascular, but cartilage is avascular. If you want to learn more about bones and cartilages, check out my skeletal system video in my biology playlist here on YouTube. Let's review some collagen. Type 1 is in bone, type 2 is in cartilage, type 3 is very flexible and pliable like this, so you find it in vessels because they need to be flexible. Type 4 is under the floor, i.e. basement membrane, and type 5, hair and placenta. Let's take it to the clinic. What does tendinitis mean? Inflammation of the tendon. What does fasciitis mean? Inflammation of the fascia. Could be superficial fascia or deep fascia. How about myositis? Inflammation of muscles. How about ostitis? Inflammation of bone. And bursitis? Inflammation of bursa. Enthesitis is very interesting. It's inflammation of the site at which the tendon or a ligament insert into a bone. So from this picture, where's the tendon? Here's the tendon. Where's the muscle? Here is my muscle. Where's the fascia under the skin? Where's the bone? There you go. Here is the femur, tibia, and patella. How about the bursae? Look at this. Here's one, two, three, and four, and they are filled with synovial fluid that escaped from around the joint. And where is my enthes here? It's here. Another clinical topic, Achilles tendon rupture. So Achilles tendon is the most famous tendon in the body. It's the tendon of the gastrocnemius muscle and soleus muscle. This Achilles tendon can get inflamed, called Achilles tendinitis, hashtag fluoroquinolones, or it could rupture, hashtag fluoroquinolones, or the story of the morbidly obese, out of shape executive who has not trained for decades, but now he wants to impress a young lady in a tennis match. While playing intensely, he heard a pop sound like a rifle shot. Then he fell to the ground while clutching his ankle. Oh, what's that? His Achilles tendon has just ruptured. And you can feel it as a doctor. There will be a gap where the tendon used to be located. So that's the history of the patient. Physical exam, limping, the patient cannot walk properly. Tenderness, it hurts over here. Swelling, there is a gap felt at the site of the tendon. May he rest in peace. Decreased range of motion. And what was the action of the gastrocnemius and soleus muscle? Plantar flexion. So we shall find decreased plantar flexion on physical exam. Diagnosis is made clinically. If you want to confirm it, do magnetic resonance imaging of this area. Treatment. Cast it in the equinus position and you can do surgical repair of the ruptured Achilles tendon. If you want to know who Miss Plasma Cell is, please check out my hematology playlist. If you want to learn more about orthopedic topics like shoulder dislocation, clavicular fracture, supracondylar fracture of the humerus, etc., download my surgery high yield course at medicosisperfectionalist.com. No subscription needed. You download it once and you keep it for you forever. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.